<laughs> here you go, little one. You can rest here while Mommy comes in. Hey, um... Cloudy... Do you think it's going to be fine? Of course, Suzy! It's going to be so much fun! the room. Ah! What in the world? H how did a cat get inside? Ah! Somebody get her off! I'm allergic to cats! <laughs> Shh! She might hear you. Girls, I can hear you! Come out now! Um, I'm so sorry, Mom. It wasn't my plan. It was Cloudy's plan, and I tried stopping her. Oh, you two. All right, you got me. However, this was a very serious prank. And you know we don't play pranks indoors. Get that kitten and take her out of the house, all right? And no more pranks, okay? Ah, uh, what's all this seriousness? Daddy! Mom's mad at us because we... <laughs> Aw, come on, darling. Why are you getting mad at our little munchkins? You have any idea what your little girls just did? They invited a kitten on our bed. Now I have to make sure it's all clean thrice. <laughs> Come on, love. You're over-exaggerating. Mm, well, you know, when I was your age, girls, I tried to prank your grandma. Ended up getting a pie in my face. <laughs> really, Dad? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, honey. Did I just see you laughing? Huh? <laughs> oh, stop it, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> it sure looks like we were a happy family. But then, our happiness didn't last for too long. Because one gloomy evening, everything changed. My mom was a mountain rescuer, and one day, she did not come back from her shift because of a tragic accident. After that, it was just the three of us. Dad started working more to support us. That's why he was barely at home, and as an older sister, I had to grow up quickly. I started doing all the house chores while taking care of my sister at the same time, and it was surely getting really tough because my younger sister grew up to be a very spoiled child. She would often fight with me about unusual stuff, and all I did was to ignore her. But I didn't mind much, because I know she misses mom too. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you here! It's been so long! I know, right? Did you like this little surprise? Of course! I'm pleasantly surprised! Um, Dad? Why don't you just tell her about the big surprise now? I think you shouldn't keep her waiting for too long. Um, what is it, Dad? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! You're right, sweetie. So, uh, the good news is that... Claudia's just got her admission to one of the biggest schools in town! Um, that's really exciting! Good for you, Cloudy. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds so exciting! I can't wait to join the new school! I... Oh, it's my bestie, Shakira, calling! I can't wait to tell her about this! Hello? Oh my god, Shakira, you have to listen to this good news! Um, I'll, uh, I'll go get you something to eat, Dad. Please have a seat. You seem kind of upset, sweetheart. Huh? No, I'm not, Dad. Why would you think that? Did you really think I'd not care about you and your education, sweetie? I'd never do that to any of you. I love both of you very dearly. And that's why. I got you enrolled in one of the best colleges here in town! <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you serious, Dad? You're not joking, right? Of course I'm not, my sweetheart. 
I'd do anything for my girls. But, Dad, where did you get all that money from? Eh, well, don't worry about that. I've been saving up for quite a while, and I guess it's time to use that money on you and Cloudy. Thank you so much for everything, Dad. You've never made us feel like Mom is not around. I promise you, I'll make you feel proud of me one day. <laughs> I know, my sweetie. Your dad really believes in you. walking and look around for any girls. Hey there. <laughs> New girl in town? Yeah. Just transferred here. Transferred, huh? Don't see any girls around here. Looks like you've stumbled into our territory. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a moment, are you trying to say that I just joined in an all-boys school? Oh no no, not at all. I mean, it's not just an all-boys school, it's the school for the richest and baddest boys. And guess what, you're a victim now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome to Rich Reckless High. <laughs> Don't worry, you might just be the talk of the town now. <laughs> Let's go guys. Not good. I have to call Dad right now. Hello? Dad? Hey, sweetie. How's the new school? Uh, let's just say it's an adventure I never saw coming. Huh? What do you mean? Why didn't you tell me that it's an all-boys school, Dad? How am I supposed to make any new friends now? Ah, uh, come on, sweetie. You almost scared me. Come on now. It's the new generation now to think wide. Of course you can be friends with good guys there. <sighs> if only there were any. Huh? What'd you say? Um, it's nothing, Dad. I need to leave now. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Uh, this is going to be the disastrous year of my entire life. I should probably go and talk to the principal about it. Um... Mr. Principal, can I have a moment with you, please? Aria, what brings you in here today? Principal Thompson, I wanted to talk to you about something important. Well, you see, I've been having some difficulty studying lately. It's just, I find it hard to focus when there are boys in the same class. Difficult studying with boys? Yes. It's not that I have anything against them. It's just that I feel distracted and uncomfortable. I was wondering if there was a way I could be enrolled in a school where it's an all-girls environment. I think I would be able to concentrate better and excel in my studies. Hmm, Aria. I understand that comfort is important for effective learning. However, transferring to a different school might not be as simple as it sounds. We have limited options for an all-girl school in this area. Oh, I see. I just thought that maybe it would help me perform better academically. I appreciate your honesty, Arya. But perhaps there's another solution we can explore. Have you considered talking to your teachers about your concerns? They might be able to offer some guidance or strategies to help you focus better on a mixed-gendered environment. I guess I haven't really thought about that. I'll definitely consider discussing it with them. That's a good approach. Remember, challenges are part of life, and facing them can help you grow and develop resilience. Don't hesitate to seek help from your teachers, counselors, or even your peers. Thank you, Principal Thompson. I'll definitely talk to my teachers and see if I can find ways to overcome this challenge. You're welcome, Maria. If you ever need further assistance or have any other concerns, feel free to come and talk to me. I will, Principal Thompson. Thank you for listening and offering your advice. <sighs> well, that 
didn't work. I should probably head for class now. Ugh, they just won't stop staring at me so weirdly. Oh god, please save me. Hey, new girl! <sighs> Can I help you? <laughs> just wondering how someone like you ended up here. Uh-huh, dumb question, just like you. I'm here to learn just like everyone else, duh. <laughs> I see. Someone is being cool. Well, just remember, this isn't a place for the faint of heart. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can handle myself. Hey, Aria, careful! What the? Ah! Are... are you okay? Yeah, I am. What are you doing? I saw what they were trying to do. I didn't want you to get hurt. Oh yeah? Who's trying to do what, huh? Zai and Ruben. They're standing over there. Look. Yeah, right. Of course, you're going to lie about it now. You know what? Just stay away from me. Get it? I can take care of myself. I don't need your help. I didn't mean to offend you. I just didn't want you to get hurt. Well, I don't need you interfering in my business. Stay away from me from now on. <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious! We did not expect this to happen! <laughs> Zai, Ruben, that wasn't cool. You could have seriously hurt her. It's just a prank, man. Relax. Why are you being so serious about her anyways? Wasn't she a victim? I did, but... Ah, oh, come on, Seth. I'm pretty sure she's overreacting. It was just a bit of fun! Fun? What if she had gotten hurt? You guys need to stop this nonsense. Chill out, Seth. We're just having some laughs. You don't understand the consequences of your actions. This isn't a joke. Seriously, guys, think before you act. This isn't the way to have fun. Fine, we get it. Yeah, whatever. Let's go now, Zai. He ruined all the fun anyway. Ah, <sighs> they will never change. Good morning everyone, I have some exciting news to share with you all. Our school has been recently awarded the title of the best school in town. And as a celebration, we're hosting a party for all the students and staff members. I'm glad to see you all so thrilled about it. The party will be a fun event with games, music and of course some delicious food. Oh no, party? What am I supposed to do there? No, I don't want to be hanging out with a bunch of jerks. Arya, are you okay? You don't seem excited as the others. Um, Mr. John, I appreciate the celebration, but I'm not sure if I want to attend. Oh? Is there a particular reason? Uh, I'm not very comfortable in large social gatherings. It makes me feel anxious. I understand. It's perfectly okay to feel that way, but remember, it's also an opportunity to bond with your classmates and enjoy a special moment together. I know, but the idea of being around so many people, especially boys, it's overwhelming for me. Aria, facing our discomforts can be a way to grow and overcome our fears. But hey, we don't want to force you if you have any personal issues. We would just love to have you there. Thank you, sir. I'll see what I can do. Okay, that was good to know. Alright class, now I'm back to class. Hey, Aria! Can I talk to you for a moment? <sighs> what is it, Seth? I'm in a hurry. I heard you're not planning to attend the celebration party tonight. Who told you that? It doesn't matter. You literally said that to everyone in the class. Look, I just want to say that you should reconsider. It's a chance to have fun and possibly get to know each other. 
I appreciate your concern, but I don't need anyone telling me what to do. I know you might feel uncomfortable, but sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to great experiences. Plus, it's not like you'd be alone. You'll have me there too. That's none of your business, Seth. Stay out of it. Look, Aria, I'm not trying to invade your privacy. I just think you're missing out on something special. Why do you care so much, huh? I thought I was your victim. Because I think you deserve to enjoy yourself and have a good time. And I'd really like if you were there. But I think I shouldn't force you if you're not feeling like it. Thanks for communicating with me. You want me to go that badly? <sighs> Fine, I'll go. Really? You won't regret it, I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. You'll see. I'll come to pick you up, okay? You're really invested in this, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe I am. See you tonight, Aria. Yeah, I guess. See you later. Bye. What's with a stare, Seth? Sorry, Aria. You just look really amazing. Earth to Seth! Come back to reality. <laughs> okay, I'm back. But seriously, you look stunning. <sighs> Thank you. Let's go before we're fashionably late. Shall we? <laughs> sure. over there. You've got some moves. You should join us. Sure thing. Let's see who's got the best dance moves. But hey, Aria, can I have a moment with them, please? Sure, Seth. I'll wait for you here. Thanks. I'll be RB. Aria, where are you? Aria, Aria. Hey, um, Seth, I saw Zai and Ruben taking Ari outside a few minutes ago. What? Did you see them? Yeah, but I don't know where they left exactly. No, Aria. Huh? What the hell is going on? Why am I here? Relax, Aria. I just thought you might want a change of scenery. Change of scenery? Kidnapping me is your idea of a joke? You'll find out soon enough. I want to know what's going on! Why did you bring me here? Fine, since you're so impatient, Cloudy wants you to hear. Cloudy? My sister, Cloudy? Yeah, she asked us to bring you here. Why would she do that? Guess you'll have to wait and find out. Tell me right now! Fine! Cloudy said it's time for you to face your fears. She thinks you've been holding back for too long. Face my fears? What does that even mean? We don't know the details. Cloudy just said it's time for you to confront something you've been avoiding. Hey there, sister. Cloudy? What's going on? Why did you bring me here? Cloudy, please, just tell me why you did this. Oh, little Arya. You've always been so... sheltered. It's time for you to face the truth. Face the truth? Cloudy, what are you talking about? You killed her, Arya! You were the reason Mom went out that night and never came back! What? What are you talking about? No, that's not true, Cloudy! It was an accident! It doesn't matter! You took her away from us! Now it's time for you to pay! No! D Dad? Ah! No! No! It was a 
supposed to be you! Dad, no! Please, wake up! I, I didn't mean to! Hey, both of you, stay right there! You're under arrest! <gasps> uh, no! I didn't do anything! It was his plan! Trust me! N no, he's lying. No, 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 please! I didn't do anything! I didn't mean to do anything! <laughs> Dad, Dad, please open your eyes and forgive me! Dad, please! <laughs> <laughs> no, please let me go. No, don't do this to me. Aria, are you okay? Quick, Seth, we need to take him to the hospital. Quick, I'm feeling so scared, Seth. What if something bad happens? What if my dad never came back? Hey, stay calm. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> Are you family? Yes, I'm his daughter. I'm sorry, but despite our best efforts, we couldn't save him. He passed away during the surgery. No, it can't be. Dad. He left something for you. A letter. Aria. I wish I could tell you this in person, but I find it unable to face you when I tell you this. I've been working as a secret agent for so many years, and I don't think I should hide this from you anymore. Since you're the older sister, I want you to know all about this. You always used to ask me from where did I get all the money, from when I bought you nice gifts and got you enrolled in the prestige high schools. Well, you have your answers now. I did that only for you, and Cloudy. But during this whole time, I was unable to take care of my health. So I don't think I'm gonna be alive in this world for too long. I just got diagnosed with cancer. And you're the only person I can trust the most. I've named my mansion on yours. Please make sure to look after everything as you do. After me. See you in the next life. I love you so much. Your dad. All this time? He did all of this for us. For me and Cloudy. He wanted the best for you, Aria. He loved you so much. But why did he leave me? Why, Dad? Why? Why? Why did you do 